On the previous video, we published the model from Revit, and we wanted to see how that publish button affects the environment here, I mean the models here in Beam 360 Docs. So if we go to Beam uh, to the furniture team, this is our quote unquote furniture live project. And the publish from Revit should affect this this file, absolutely. It did. So now let's go under the share folder. So this model under the share mo the share folder was created based on a package. So and we say that the package is basically a snapshot of that instant in the model. So it shouldn't be a second row of desks and there is not a second row of desks so everything looks fine let's go back to design collaboration as soon as we open so remember that now we're in the environment of uh, a user an invited user to to this uh, to this team to the furniture team so if we expand here we see that we are part of this team and those are the latest packages we we publish we've shared with other teams so if we go to to furniture to the furniture project here we see that that there is a second row of desks so i infer that this is not a file from a package this is just the latest the latest package that was published from 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 Revit because if I go to the latest package we 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 shared with others we click here and we go to furniture project there is not a second row of, of so this is the file that other other teams are using so since now we have a new as we saw here before as soon as we open uh, design collaboration we click on the set that was available and that set was based on it registered the our publication from Revit to here it was basically uh, like doing this update to latest so I, 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 I did a couple of changes here after our last publish so I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna do it again here. So but before I just gonna prove that what I'm saying is right. So right now I know I made some changes and it needs to be updated and and Beam 360 Docs I mean collaboration uh, design collaboration knows that as well. So let's now let's now publish from Revit again. Let's publish from Revit again, and once this is done, we we will go back to the to design to Beam 360 Docs, and we will try to to get the latest update. And it should it should know that there is not such an update because it is up to date. The model was published. Now let's go back to here and it is automatically updating it is it already knows that that the the publish button in Revit was was pushed and so it is updating the same thing as we as we did before in previous videos like we did update to latest and start updating here so it is doing exactly the same thing but this time we publish from Revit so now that's proof that this button and the button that we have in Revit to publish, they, they, they are the same command. So it says that uh, now we have the latest and greatest uh, sets. And also I made some changes. I published uh, a sheet and, and some elevations. So, so here we are. And also, now we're gonna we're gonna just create a new package so other teams can benefit from this. So let's create that. This is the package for the CDs. Um, 
save the views and the model and save it and share because now I have the permissions to do it now it was done and uh, and now we can go back to document management just to test it takes a couple of seconds to to be able to explore this file under the share file after the update but now it's ready so we can see now the second row of desks right there on the next video we're gonna we're gonna try to play a little bit more and see how this consume button works because we we saw that under under document management we have a folder for each team that says consume so let's see how that works